say hi to everybody. Yep. Yeah. We're just on our on the highway right now in a taxi and we're almost at our terminal. And we'll should show be. you a little bit of, of Canada during our, our stay there. So I, it should be fun guys and, uh, and uh, enjoy the video as we go along and uh, yeah, we'll uh, show you the outskirts of Canada or uh, the outsides of, of Ottawa, Ontario. Montreal, or uh, Charlene's sister was nice enough, super nice, to drop us off a car, and now we're just heading up to uh, to Morrisburg and then Brockville. We're doing some running around. We're gonna find a Tim Hortons and grab ourselves a nice Tim Hortons coffee. Yay. Hey guys, we're uh, in Kempville, Ontario. Um, <laughs> Came back to our original diner. Yeah, we're at a little diner. We used to come here for breakfast. And uh, it's kind of cool to be back here. Uh, it is cold. Like 12, 14 maybe degrees. So we are absolutely frozen. <laughs> uh, missing Mexico. We'll be back soon. Uh, but just hanging out, doing some old stomping ground stuff, and we're gonna enjoy a nice breakfast. Okay.
Canada right now, right near the Quebec border. And uh, I'm at a campground. I'm gonna be staying here for a little bit. My niece has a campsite here and she was kind enough to let me use it while I'm uh, finalizing a few things here. So yeah, I just wanted to touch base, all is well. Definitely anxious to go back to Mexico. Dawn and our daughter is, is there right now. I'm hoping to be back within the next two weeks. That's my plan, that's my goal. And I'm just finalizing a few things that I have to deal with here. And then uh, back to my little paradise. But in the meantime, I will totally take this. All right. Mom, I'm not kidding, eh? That's been forming right in front of us. No, you're fine. <laughs> if it was forming, it would be behind us. St. Lawrence River this morning. It's a good way to start the day. So this is where I am for the next few days, hoping to get back to Mexico, um, I guess within a week or so. That's that's the plan, but we'll see how it goes. It's day by day right now. I'm just uh, dealing with family, um, the family health issues and uh, staying for as long as I am needed. $6.29 and my uh, free from chicken for $17.50. My total is $27.78. But I only have three items in my bag. So, yeah, not cool. And we still have tornado warnings. Yep. See, Clouds are. The sky is not looking the prettiest. It's actually pretty, but it's not something that you want to. Yeah. Be around if there is a tornado. There, there was a tornado that touched down today Mar in uh, Mar Haven. And the warnings are still on, but it looks like it's clearing out. I think we're good now. Stuck in traffic jam on the Sunday at 12 noon. And uh, the purpose of our touring is. We get a car. Pardon? We get a car. We're gonna go get a car. Well, we're gonna go look at a car. Uh, it looks promising. 
and um, so this is what we're doing today. Once it's all done, I should be back in Mexico. Um, this is my last major thing to do to get things going. Yay! So yeah, happy to be doing a trip with my son. What do you think? Happy, happy? Happy, happy. Anxious? Very. We'll check it out. We'll be manual. driving back. Yep, manual, six speed, just the way I like it. Yeah. There it is. So? Sweet. <laughs> hey guys. My stay in Canada is uh, almost coming to an end. I have to say that it's been um, a very, very busy time. I'm supposed to stay here three weeks and I think I'm on six weeks now. Definitely ready to go back to Mexico. I miss the ocean. I miss Dawn. Of course, little Sammy, uh, hoping to be gone within the next maybe five days or so. I'm uh, going to be looking at flights this evening and uh, book the next flight out where I am capable of leaving. I was here last year. Um, my time in Canada this time around was uh, truly dedicated to family. Um, I know a lot of uh, friends and acquaintances did want to catch up with me and meet up and I just didn't have the, uh, the time to do it. It's been uh, spending time with my dad and my mom and my sister and just having to take care of a few, uh, a few things that needed to be uh, dealt with. So this is where I'm at. I'm almost at the end of it all. Everything's pretty much settled. And I'm um, just sitting by the St. Lawrence River right now. And um, it's nice because I'm actually by the water, so it gives me a chance to just catch my breath a little bit um, in the evenings when I get back. I'm extremely thankful to my niece who's uh, offered her camp while I stayed here. And my sister who offered me her car as well uh, during my stay so I can get around and uh, deal with what needs to be dealt with. So. I'm getting tired. It's been a long, long journey for me, but I know that the Caribbean seas are waiting and I'll be able to relax a little bit and, and then take care of myself. I feel like I've been taking care of a lot of people here. It's time for me to just get back and start taking care of myself. So this is where I'm at. And to... Um, Commemorate my time here in Canada. I got something special done today. So here it is. Check it out It really represents my stay here. It says breathe I still have some packing to do a few last-minute shopping items that I'd like to bring back to Mexico Yeah, should be ready to go so This is what you do when you're traveling hanging out Hanging out in a small town, you do what you got to do to get your laundry done. So, all right, guys. Good old Canadian campfire. Last night at the this camp, you like it. Have a little fire going. Relax. guys, it's 5 a.m. Uh, finally heading back to Mexico. It's been uh, approximately two months uh, that I've been in Canada. Um, it was initially supposed to be three weeks and um, Dawn went back after three weeks to uh, handle the boat and make sure that it's safe with the hurricane season. I ended up staying until today. So today is the big day. I get to go back to Mexico. I'm super excited. Yeah, so it is uh, five o'clock. My flight leaves at 9 a.m. I'll keep you guys posted along the way. Cheers. All right, within a minute or so, we should be at the Taste the dirt as I hit the ground You were there, you were there through it all How far are you gonna go Before you know what you should have